morning guys and girls and it's the 1st of July 2022 and here's your sardine update for the day already there's been some netting at Winkle Sprite uh, Tony dropped a net first and Jay's Team V's also dropped a net now and they are busy pulling it out at Winkle Sprite as we speak um, so far there's not a lot happening here and there yesterday there's some shad that started to come out on certain spots Margate Pier and some of the other spots and that's with that ground swell that's uh, that's going down a bit. You can see the sea is nice and flat. I don't know if you can see behind me there. Very nice and flat here on the south coast. So the fishing should be good today if you go to some of your favorite spots. And if this weather holds, I did actually look. It looks like it's holding this weekend. There'll some be, be some great fishing this weekend um, with the fish being allowed to come in without that ground swell. Remember, we've had a lot of floods. A lot of that mud and rubbish is sitting on the bottom of our ocean. So any upwelling or that uh, ground swell that comes through pushes that up in the water column and all your fish retracts and push back like the sardines did as well. So they were a bit far out yesterday all over. Today should be a bit better. Uh, there wasn't any significant uh, wind coming in to push them in a bit more but with everything settling a bit, all that debris and, and uh, colour in the water uh, settling a bit, the fish should come in a bit closer today already like I said two nets at Winkle Sprite so if you're in that area looking for sardines uh, you can make your way to, to Winkle Sprite remember we just did discuss the E. coli issue yesterday guys if you cook your fish and stuff there's no issues only really if you go with maybe broken skin into the water close to an estuary where the water is really contaminated that's where you'll get it even at your tap water <laughs> in, in a towel with all the floods and stuff and our water conditions and our water supply conditions it's almost a better chance of getting E. coli through the tap uh, on a, maybe a, a broken skin on your hand or something or by brushing your teeth or something than actually in the food if you cook it so there's no worries on eating the sardines guys you can cook them the normal way you cook them and E. coli won't survive in that in any case as well as it's a cold-blooded animal better chance of it being warm-blooded animals like your beef and your chicken and your pork that you know you should be cooking well as well these days especially in South Africa but guys thank you for watching and remember to subscribe hit the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time we upload a video go live on the sardine run or where there's some fish action remember that we only really do these videos once there's action if you don't see any of these videos popping up it's fairly quiet and there's not much happening so make sure if you want to be in the loop to subscribe and we also want to use this opportunity to thank the guys that makes it possible for us to do these updates for you and that's Daiwa, um, Chiquita Rotsiro Zerai, Alpha, Omega and Chint. Thank you guys and have a great day. Fish responsible, be responsible and clean up your hand yourself uh, as a normal practice should be. And uh, yeah guys, be nice to each other. Yeah, uh, we got a small net, the day before I was to get a net, but it's a lot of fish coming in now. So, we should see if I can change that across the game. You guys make your way down here to Nico, and we've got game on. Hey, 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 h